Hello everyone, welcome to Vanderwan Gardens. So, I don't know if I mentioned on a previous video, but I'm thinking about sustainability and what to do if there's food short shortages. And while most of my stuff is all about hot peppers and fun stuff like that, what if we ever needed to feed ourselves off of our gardens? Well, what is the easiest to grow, high in protein, most vitamins and minerals, and is really good for the soil. Beans. So here we have a black bean that I started less than a week ago. And here's how I started it. Well, first and foremost, I was like, well, where do you buy bean seeds? Because every hardware store just didn't have them. And I thought that was weird that they had everything else, they had green beans, but they didn't have red beans, they didn't have kidney beans, they didn't have chickpeas or gabonzo beans. So I'm like, you know what? Walmart sells beans. I wonder if I could just buy a pound of beans from Walmart and just use those for seeds. Well, the answer is yes. So I've got all four of those kinds of beans, red beans, chickpeas, black beans, and pinto beans. And I just have them in a paper towel and I've been seeding them, or letting them go, you know, to seed. Roly-poly, I'll get you. Anyway, so I have them set up in here, and I was very happy to see that the black beans are already sprouting. I had heard that sometimes grocery stores will spray their produce to make sure it doesn't seed and germinate, because, I mean, they're going to tell you that they don't want it to germinate during periods of humidity, but in a sealed plastic bag, I find that hard to believe. I think they just want to make sure that people don't typically try to grow from their seeds. So I've been trying to grow jalapenos for years, and I always found it hard. Well, I finally found... These are from the grocery store, these jalapenos. So as soon as they get their second uh, set of leaves, like this... Nope, that's... Okay, yeah, this little guy here can move into his own pot, but not that one. So I'll wait until the both of them have their second sets of seed, uh, second sets of leaves. But so yeah, those are jalapenos. I'm gonna very much enjoy those. But yeah, sustainability. And how do you enrich soil at home? Well, I think I already might have talked about this, but if you got poor so poor quality soil like I do, and you get a lot of newspapers and junk mail and you have kitchen scraps. What I do is I put all that good stuff here in my worm bin. Just a good old tote. I got the insect sticky on top. Oop. And what we do is we just put our we just put our stuff inside this worm bin. And all of our shredded paper, good stuff like that. And these worms turn it into really good soil. And what I can do, I can do a couple of different things with this. First and foremost, I mean, it helps me dispose of stuff that I don't need, like kitchen scraps and newspapers and stuff. But I can actually take this, soak it in water, you know, put water through it, capture that water, and then that makes a worm tea that is a super thing to help plants grow really good. Instead of buying fertilizer, you can make your own. So anyway, so this is Ken from Vanawan Gardens, talking to you about sustainability, and I think beans is the way to go. I mean, everything else is cool, but beans, they're gonna, they're gonna dry good, they're gonna store for years, and if you ever need them, you can just take the food that, the beans that you were gonna eat, and make more beans out of them. So, good luck. Talk to you later. Bye.